Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the chain of infection. This model is so important to understand as we see it in our everyday lives. This video will be doing an overview of what the chain of infection is and how we can break it. So what is the chain of infection? Basically, the chain of infection is a model. Displaying it as an actual chain can help us better understand it. This chain tells us how a pathogen is able to spread from for example, person to person. Overall, there are six components or six links to the chain of infection. A key idea is that this chain can act as a cycle, rotating through all six components if not broken. Breaking the chain allows us to stop the spread, which we do through precautions. By doing so, everyone can promote public health. The six links to the chain include the infectious agent, reservoir, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, and susceptible host. These are diagrammed here. The chain spreads in a clockwise fashion, with the first component being the infectious agent, which then spreads to the reservoir, then the portal of exit, and so on to the susceptible host. If the chain isn't broken, the cycle will continue to repeat itself. Looking deeper into the components, we can see that the infectious agent, the first link, is what is known as the disease-causing organism, which can take form as a virus, bacterium, or parasite. To prevent further spread, we need to break the chain. This includes pasteurization of milk, chlorination of water, or disinfection. However, if this chain isn't broken, the pathogen can spread to the reservoir, the second link. This is basically the home of the pathogen. It is a place that the pathogen lives and is required for its survival. Examples include animals, soil, water, food, etc. To break the chain to prevent further spread, we use medical treatment slash testing, insect slash rodent eradication, and quarantine. If not broken, the pathogen will continue to its next link, which is the portal of exit. The third link. This is the method in which the pathogen leaves the reservoir. This can be through saliva, mucous membranes, feces, blood, etc. Anything that is excreted from the body or reservoir. We can break the chain by barrier methods like personal protective equipment, PPE, which includes things like masks, eye protection, and gloves. If not broken, the chain moves to the mode of transmission, the fourth link. This link is how the pathogen travels. It can be done through direct contact, like handshaking or contact with bodily lesions, or it can be done through indirect contact, like respiratory droplets in the air. To break the chain, hand washing, staying at home, and disinfection are essential. Otherwise, the chain continues to the next link, which is the portal of entry or the fifth link. This is how the virus enters the body. This can be done through penetration. For example, broken skin and incisions. It can also be done through ingestion. For example, using the same water bottle as someone else. Or it can be done through inhalation. For example, inhaling respiratory droplets from the air. To break the chain, barrier methods like PPE, hand hygiene, and first aid slash wound care are some things that are effective. Without them, the chain continues to the susceptible host, the sixth link. This is essentially the new host, which can be anyone, especially those which are immunocompromised. To break the chain, it is best to boost your immune system through health promotion, which includes getting enough sleep, diet, and exercise, getting immunizations, medical treatment, or patient education. However, without breaking this link, the chain will cycle back to the infectious agent and go through the cycle again and again until people are able to take the necessary precautions to break the chain and stop the spread. For now, that's all we have on the chain of infection.